I was inspired by Sarah Mays to try making a few what I wore last week videos because I just really massively enjoy watching hers. So I thought I might as well give it a go uh, and tell you guys what I've been wearing this week. So I don't need to talk about this one. I talk about it all the time. It's probably like really at this time of year, this has sort of become my signature scent. It's the one that's the easiest to, to go to. So this is Katy Perry's Indie. It's just musky, soapy, slightly powdery, coconutty smell on me. Um, so it's like really safe for work. You can just wear it any time. It's nice and kind of cool. So it works in the summer and spring. Um, so that was a, that's just a no brainer really, that one for me. That one I can put on when I can't think of what I want to wear. And it goes with any outfit. It's just great. Um, and then I tried out this tiny little oil from Al Rehab. Al Rehab, is that the one? Crown Perfumes, Al Rehab, yeah. So this is called Secret Lady. And this is one where lots of people said it just kind of smells like apples. And yeah, that's the vibe I get from it. Um, it's very sweet, but it's kind of a nice kind of sweet pink apple kind of smell. Um, I wasn't sure... How much I'd like it because if I look at the notes it doesn't represent I don't think at all how this smells so the notes on this one are floral notes vanilla and oriental notes and in all honesty let me have a little sniff it just smells like sweet apples maybe our apples like very pink veering towards red apples not tangy at all um and and maybe a bit of caramel or something this one, I really like it at first, but I think if I wear it too long, it becomes a little bit cloying to me. It's a little bit sweet, but I wanted to try that one out. So it was really a tester. Um, it's still quite nice. And if you like kind of sweet apple smells, I just, I think I'd like this if it was a bit more tart. I think, you know, a real, a real kind of pink lady smell is what I'm after. But I think this one might be veering a little bit too much towards red apples that are just very, very, very sweet. But it's still nice. It's about three quid. Absolute bargain. Oh, and as you can see, I've got a big Casey Perry nowadays because, again, like you can get them for less than a tenner for a, for a massive, massive bottle. Um, so then we had uh, quite a, a cool day again. So I went for this one which you might recognise the shape of the bottle from my worst ever blind buy, but this is a ghost fragrance. This one's really odd. I weirdly like it, but it's it's very strange. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you the notes and you'll probably understand why it's a bit strange. So the top notes of this, this is um, Ghost Moonlight. And the top notes of this are ginger, bergamot and melon. Middle notes are orange blossom, lily of the valley and pink peony. Um... Base notes are white chocolate, sandalwood and amber. So I was interested in the white chocolate note of this because I do think I can be a bit resistant to vanilla uh, fragrances that are very vanilla -y. But I also think that I some of the kind of, especially the soapier perfumes I like, I always think they have a slight white chocolate vibe to them. So I, you know, the reason I got this one in the first place was just to see how I felt about perfumes that actually have white chocolate in. And I randomly like this, although it is weird because, let me just have a quick sniff. Um, it's a very kind of clean smell, <laughs> which is a weird, like a clean kind of fresh, slightly watery smell, which is a weird smell to have mixed with white chocolate. But I really weirdly like it. I quite like how clean and like the, it's the ginger and the melon. Like, so the top notes, quite summery. And then the dry down, that's when you really get a bit of white chocolate. And I, I think it's quite nice, a nice scent. But some of the reviews of this one do say um, that it's a bit of a mishmash of notes and they don't really go together. And I can, I can, I can kind of understand where people are coming from with that one because it is it's definitely a bit odd but personally I quite like it so I again this might be a skin chemistry thing or it might just be a your personal taste but I think I like that sweet white chocolatey note that it dries down into way more than I tend to like anything that dries down to be very obviously vanilla um and obviously white white chocolate has that slight creamy vanilliness but it, it isn't like a vanilla perfume you know so yeah, this, I don't know if it's a safe blind buy. I, I had a sample of this before I got the actual perfume, but I kind of like this one. Um, 
so yeah and then i had one that i was testing out so this is bessie barkley pure pastel lemon and i've never tried a bessie barkley um fragrance before um and I came across this, I will, I will put down the site that I got this from. I got it from a, it was, it was again, very cheap. It was, it was maybe like seven pounds or something like that. Um, and it's just a tiny little baby 20 mil. I actually accidentally ordered two of these. So whatever happens, I'm going to have to sell one. Um, but I just, I, I read the notes. I thought the bottle was cute really. And because it's called pastel, pure pastel lemon, I was like, okay, I want to know what this smells like. I have been trying to find a lemon perfume. Um, so I wanted to test this one out and it's not, it's not as extreme as the Jessica Simpson, um, uh, what's that called? Uh, fancy, not fancy bloom, vintage bloom, but it still also seems to have a slightly odd woody dry down. Um, and again, this is another sandalwood one. So a bit confused about it, but so the top notes of this are lemon, mandarin, orange, green apple, Middle notes, Lily of the Valley, Freesia and Violet Leaf. Base notes, Musk, Sandalwood and Amber. And yeah, it's just, I did, I, I quite enjoyed it at first. And then the longer it was on my skin, the more I was like, well, oh, maybe this one's a bit, turning a bit cologne again, getting a bit, and not as extreme, definitely not. It doesn't happen as quickly or as extremely. It is quite a nice creamy um, lemony smell at first. I don't know, maybe maybe it does a little bit veer into the kind of a bit too lemon fairy. -y. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's getting a bit shampooy. And when you've got lemon in something that's a bit shampooy, it does start to smell like a fairy liquid, um, like a lemon fairy liquid. I don't know. So I'm I'm not sure about this one. Um, I mean, it's so cheap. It's probably a safe blind bite. I mean, if you like vintage bloom, this is definitely you, you're definitely going to like it. Um, but I will show you because actually I, I did try this one, but I at the same time recently I got some little samples um, and I have found my holy grail of lemon perfumes, which you will see as soon as it arrives because I ordered it straight away and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I will show you that one as soon as it arrives. Um, so then um, I uh, how to make a long story, not quite so long. So I wash my hair like every three days. I trained my hair to not need washing all the time. And I have some Lush, uh, well, I tend to use shampoo bars, but because I'm letting my hair, my greys grow out um, and I'm going kind of naturally salt and pepper, I have a, their purple shampoo, which is for like blonde and white hair to stop it going kind of brassy and yellow. Um, and it's called Daddio. Now that is a very powerful um, lemon and violet smell. People do say it's like Palmer violets, but it's a bit sharper than that, really. Um, and because it's so sharp and it's so strong, it's basically like wearing a hair perfume if you use that. It's great and it smells lush, but I always use it with their candy conditioner. It's called Candy, candy Rain, I think, um, which is incredibly sweet, smells like a sweet shop. And either like so the the shampoo on its own is a little bit too sharp and pungent for me to to wear on its own, and the conditioner is too sweet for me to wear on its own. But if I use both of those at the same time when I wash my hair, my hair then smells like Palmer violets, totally lush, like perfect level of kind of sharp sherbetty sweetness, very very violet heavy, very hot violet heavy, and it lasts until you wash it out. That smell does not go anywhere. If you like hair, honestly, if you want your hair to smell perfumed and you don't actually want to put your perfume in it, because obviously a lot of perfumes have alcohol in them, get your hair products from Lush. Um, they're amazing. Um, so because of that, I went for violet perfumes. So starting with this guy. Just move these along a bit. Are they still in frame? Yeah. Um, so this is Forever. Uh, Forever Elizabeth by Elizabeth Taylor fabulous bottle really nice so this is the one that reminds me a little bit of uh, Stella Pop but like a way more springy less sweet um, yeah just less intense less bubblegummy less sugary 
um, more subtle version of Stella Pop when it dries down. At first, it's a bit more white flowery. It's a bit more Elizabeth Arden when you first spray it. Um, but let me give you the notes for this guy. I have talked about this um, in detail in a different video. But top notes of this are apple, blackberry, green notes and Italian mandarin. Middle notes, Egyptian jasmine, tiari flower, violet, rose, orchid. Base notes, woody notes, white musk, sandalwood, amber and cloves. And it's when it dries down, it's definitely a violet scent. Goes really well with like my, my hair products. Smells just really delicious. Actually, my partner told me I smelled really nice when I wore this one. So I think this is a, a winner just generally. Um, so yeah, that, that one is just a lovely, lovely scent. I think it's really easy to wear anytime. It's not ridiculously strong. It's not gonna make anyone feel a bit queasy. It's just lovely, it's lovely. And um, <laughs> it's these little tiny bottles compared to this big boy. This is the 100 mil, again, about 15 pounds. Um, nothing ridic ridiculously expensive. Just really uh, such an easy reach, that one. Um, and then, we had a randomly chilly day. <laughs> um, I say chilly, I mean, it just wasn't as warm as it has been. Like, we've been really up and down this week. So I went for a sweet one. <laughs> and I haven't talked about this before, but it's great. So the, this isn't the original lid. I just used an old lid from something else because this, this was a tester bottle. Um, this is Vera Wang Embrace, and it's the Periwinkle and Iris. And I've got a few of these. Um, this is... A delicious perfume which is very very creamy cozy and sweet um, and it's kind of my my level of sweet I would say if you know what Signorina smells like the original um, that has that panna cotta in it's that level of sweetness I would say so it's not vanilla -y sweet it's creamy sweet and this has got I mean I got this because I was really interested in the notes so if I find it, um, okay, here we go. So the top notes of Embrace Periwinkle and Iris is uh, our bergamot and uh, uh, mandarin orange. Middle notes, iris, violet, periwinkle and jasmine. Base notes, whipped cream, sugar, vanilla and benzoin. Um, and yeah, it definitely doesn't smell vanilla-y to me, this one. It's, this, it's like cream and sugar. It's cream and sugar, but... I think, although when you first spray it, definitely a bit more tangy, but definitely a bit more fruity. You get the mandarin, definitely the bergamot, and then it dries down and the violet is the is the one that blooms above all else. So this, to me, it really reminds me of, um, uh, I don't know if you know what rose and violet taps are, but they're the little sweets. Oh yeah, mm, lovely. So they're the little sweets that some of them have got a rose cream fondant inside with the dark chocolate on the outside and some have a violet cream fondant with the uh, dark chocolate on the outside they're really old school sweets i absolutely love them even though i don't really like dark chocolate i just really like the the flowery fondant inside my mum used to absolutely love them they were like a real treat you know they get the little crystallized violets or the crystallized rose petals on the top um and I think this gives me a little bit of that vibe. It's not as like, it's not as like super intense, but this one's quite noticeable. I wouldn't call this a skin scent at all. This is just really cozy and it's a really kind of good date night smell because it's really sweet. It's a bit floral. It's just really tasty. It's really, really pretty. And um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's a really nice one, but I couldn't have worn it if it was a hotter day. This is another one. This is a bit like, the Signorina that I liked from the sample and some of my other sweeter perfumes that have like a really sweet musk or, or something sugary or creamy in them um and I'm actually the same with the moonlight one like uh it's got to be the right kind of weather to wear it and then when we had the hotter day so for my third my hair smells like violets day I wore this one which is Ted Baker W and um this is this is just Another really easy go-to. Um, I'll try and move these around a bit, try and get this in the light so you can actually see it. Uh, <laughs> every reflection known to man. There we go. 
So I said Baker W, again, like this doesn't have a lid and I haven't found one that fits it yet, but I'm sure I'll buy some really cheap blind one that I don't like and I'll just steal the lid off it to put it on this one. Um, this was a tester, so it was so cheap. I think it was like six or seven pounds and probably might have even been five actually. Um, you can still get them for super cheap. But this is a nice, very light violet that's super, it's a bit watery and it's a bit fruity. So it's, and it's also more flowery in other ways, if you see what I mean. <laughs> um, so the notes in this one are top notes of African violet and Palmer violet, fig leaf and peony, middle notes of cassis, uh, raspberry and orchid, base notes of cedar and vanilla. Cedar and vanilla I don't really smell. This is watery, a bit sharp, but it has a sweetness from the raspberry. So this to me smells like basically a watery violet and raspberry perfume. So you've definitely got a bit like the orchid and the peony and the fig leaf. I think you're getting a slightly more floral and green going on, especially at first. And it goes through a bit of a stage where it is quite sharp. But the general dry down of this is like a, a sort of tangy raspberry and watery violet. Um, so it's quite good in, in high heat. I mean, this is a good one for hot days and I, I really enjoyed it when I was wearing it. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess it's not as strong, it's not as noticeable, I think, as the Elizabeth Taylor, more violety perfume. But the Elizabeth Taylor one is a bit more grounded with its sandalwood and because it's got the apple and the mandarin, it's kind of, it's got a fruitiness, but it's it's different. It's not like a raspberry fruitery. So, so again, like the pink colour is perfect for Ted Baker. That's like a pink kind of sweetness, <laughs> a gentle watery, but slightly sharp pink sweetness. And the Elizabeth Taylor it is like slightly more traditional smelling, I think I'd say. Um, but yeah, so that that's, that's what I was getting up to this week. And they're all lovely lovely perfumes i think the only ones i'm not too sure about these um they're okay they're not my favorite but these guys permanent little places in my collection certainly and um i'd happily recommend any of these this one because you can actually i'll put the link again you can get it for so cheap and it's only 20 mil so if you're testing out and you you're interested in like lemony perfumes then you might want to try that one this one, it's like three quid from Amazon. So if you want something that's a very sweet, apple with a slight hint of caramel kind of smell, despite the notes not making any sense for that, um, then yeah, I mean, I'd recommend it for that. But for me personally, I think it might be a little bit too sweet in a, in a way that I don't enjoy because it does seem to me that I like sweetness when it's a bit creamy. I don't really like just full on sweet fruits. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've been up to this week.